So just a quick fix here, which isn't strictly necessary, uh, but it adds a little bit more consistency to the way our uh, response codes come through. So at the moment, uh, I have uh, one record in my database here that already exists uh, because I just created it here. And you can see we're getting a 200 OK, which isn't what we're expecting. Remember, if a URL already exists, we get a 201 created. And that's because in the code, when we uh, checked if this link already existed, we set the status of the response to 201. But we're not actually doing that down here when we create a new record. So there's a couple of ways that we can resolve this. We can either copy and paste this code down here so we can send a 201 through. So if we were to just delete this record here and go and resend this request, we get a 201 created, which has in fact created that record. And then remember if something already exists, we send a 201 as well, uh, which obviously hasn't recreated the record. Uh, it's just given us back the old data. Now, the other way that we could do this is to assume that anything after this point is going to be created. And we could just copy and paste this up here and then go ahead and, and do, do it that way. The only problem with that way is if something fails down here, we may want to check and output an error if something went wrong while we were trying to store the link. But either way, that's just tidy things up just so we have the consistency here, uh, whether we're creating a new URL or we're returning one that already exists within our database table.